Hmm. First stop, Family Dollar, which is always my first stop. Right on top. He's, he was looking in a dumpster. Well, let's see. Is that, a, is that a picture frame? It's probably broken. There's a mirror. Oh, we could use it as a picture frame then. The shelf is what you're interested in? The shelf. Oh yeah, I could use that too. I could use that for the thrift store. Oh yeah, true. Alright guys, brand new Dollar General. I am by myself today, which makes me a little nervous because I can get things done a lot faster when I have people. Uh, Got the bread truck literally right next to me. For him to get lost so I can go take a peek. And I hope I find some stuff. And just my luck. Now here comes a Dollar General truck and I can't check it at all. I say we just move on to the next Dollar General and we'll hit this one up later. Okay? Why does my lighting always have to stink? Gosh. It's gonna be never good if I end up locking my key in the car. Nothing. All right, let's move on to the next one. I'm not giving up hope, okay? Don't give up hope. We'll find something. All right, we're driving. Dollar Tree. Also, nothing. Let's keep going. All right, we've got another Dollar General coming up. So let's see if there's anything there. If there's nothing there, we're gonna continue on our route, which is Michael's, Five Below, definitely hitting up Barnes & Noble again. Let's see if we get lucky. So the stuff that they were hiding in last week, <laughs> it doesn't look like they're uh, hiding stuff in. What are those? Old menus? Cool, old menus. Cool. Salvage some of those. They're not good. Guys, this one is just gross, and once again, nothing! I'm starting to get a little sad and disappointed because I haven't found one thing yet. All right, pressing on, pressing on. Hey guys, Goodwill, it's not open. I'm taking a peek. Please be stuff. Oh, I see toy things. Sucks. We'll just pick up the toy lettuce and go home. <gasps> Man. Can't even get in that one. Nothing. Just. <clears throat> Man. Uh huh. So 
so far, two pieces of toy lettuce. But hey, I like my toys, so it's all good. Five and below. Ooh, looks like there might finally be some stuff. It's not completely trashed. is a little broken, but the paints are fine. Let's see. Let's see. know how come they don't have all of these boxes where they should be in the recycling. Alright, got a couple things. I actually think this is a little um, dog bed and I discarded the broken uh, gnome but saved the paints and this is I think one of those plant hanging things. Dig around a little bit more. Let me toss this back in. Makeup right from the display. That's awesome. Michael's dumpster. This actually kind of looks like a new dumpster. Why is all this crap in it? This is not my dumpster. Diet Coke, that's Terry's favorite. Well, he likes Coke Zero, but he rescues some of those. At least we're picking up the pace. We're picking up the pace. We're finally starting to find stuff, guys. All right, yeah, Barnes and Noble, here we come. All these, try not to be too loud. Cauliflower. I'll definitely take this milk crate. Uh, I don't always eat the vegetables that I find. It really just depends on how they're packaged, what they look like, the temperature out here. But no matter what, I absolutely will give them to my animals if they're 
you know, not fantastic for everyone to eat. Ooh, let's go fuzz in it. Things like that. Chopped kale. I actually love that. But even if I could take all of this stuff over to Goat Island, oh my gosh, the goats would go completely crazy. Zucchini. Oh, that bad. Lettuce. Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with those at all. Perfect. This is all kinds of zucchini, but some of them have like fuzzy things on, so I don't want to take it like that. How about this one? Actually, this one looks pretty good. Let's see. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, what's this? Cantaloupe. Got more oranges in there. What? Yeah. Don't worry, everybody. Everything will be washed. all kinds of things. Beautiful tomatoes. out of the bag. Look, in this bag, perfectly good strawberries, green onions, gosh, I could plant those, uh, cabbage, I don't know if that was a bag somebody paid for and left or what, but... Not a bad little haul. Not a bad little haul at all from Aldi's. Excellent. All right, everybody. Moment of truth. Either we got stuff or we don't. Books. Okay, let me pull the truck up. Guys, they got a lot of really good stuff in here, which means I gotta grab, go, and show you all the stuff later. Okay, because I'm by myself. So don't hate on me for doing that, okay? Oh, let me just grab this beautiful oh, Aladdin stuff. 
Okay, all right, let me do this. Let me do this. I can do this. I can do this. What kind of food did we get? Got some zucchini. And we got this um little some kinds. Oranges, got a couple tomatoes. I salvaged one pretty firm avocado. We got cauliflower, cabbage, got some blueberries beautiful strawberries and two bags of green onions so that wasn't a bad little Aldi's haul and from Michael's I rescued 14 diet cokes this is what we rescued from five and below or five below or whatever it is it is a dog bed they did slash the bottom but I mean it's really not that bad it's not coming out it's really nice actually um, I rescued that makeup and the reason why is because I use this type of stuff when I do my uh, sculpy art crafts like when I'm making miniatures and things uh, I took out the paint from that little gnome set and I rescued this thing. I'm pretty sure that it's one of those plant holders. Huh. My mom used to have a whole bunch of these really tacky things hanging around the house back in the 70s. And they used to be that really puke yellow or that really puke green that was really popular back then. You 70s and 80s babies know what I'm talking about. And from Michael's, um, in addition to the Cokes that you guys saw, got some beads. I did get something from uh, Cry Cut. It's some smart um, iron-on. Iron-on paper. Which is awesome, because then I could cut my own letters and iron on my t-shirt. I got this great dot to dot. I had no idea that they also made adult versions of these. Um, I've been sending these to my friends and uh, I have a niece, a grand niece. She loves, she loves those as well. Rescued a couple of magazines. Thought those would be nice to give away. And <gasps> let's Find out what we got from Barnes and Noble. And we came in right at the last minute with Barnes and Noble for a tremendous score. So let's go through this beautiful box. On the outside of it, it says Kids Games Puzzles. Let's dive in. Okay, we have a matcha shaker. This is $25. That is a really nice find. I love things that make really good gifts. Oh, look. book about the bay and one about Maryland oh my gosh these are gonna be perfect for me to put down at my uh, rental house for uh, vacationers perfect let's see rainforest rhymes 
little book. I actually scored, I'm really excited about this stuff. I scored last year's summer reading kits. So some of the things kind of look like uh, Minecraft. And there's all kinds of Beauty and the Beast stuff. Stickers, coloring pages. These are going to be really nice to put together for kids have something to do. Oh, look! Oh my gosh! Oh, it's too bad it's ripped because it's perfect for Easter. Look at that. I keep that though. I love that. Hey, 2021. You know what? I needed one. And look at that. The bin's delivered. I now have my new planning book. A couple of these. Let's see. Lost Kitties. I guess they're like collectible cats. Okay, alright, this thing. Hmm, wait, I thought it was stencils. But I don't think this is stencil. Oh, neat. Hey, this is one of those, uh, those little writing tablets. I, um, I found a bigger version of something like this. But this is cool, look, the kids can slip it looks like they can slip the cards there and then practice writing. That's a cool find. That's a very cool find. Got some Imagine Ink. Oh my gosh, I used to love these things in the 80s, especially the Mad Libs. Do you guys remember that? Oh, we got quite a few things here. Got a book with the world leaders. Got some Sesame Street. Got an old, uh, old one from last year. Might be fun for somebody to play with though. Look at this. Got a bucket. Eight books. Babies. Babies first. Doesn't look like there's eight in here, but let's see. We got four, five, six, seven. Really? They're just missing one. That's still a nice little set. I think that is so cute. Oh, hey, more of this stuff. The last time I found a bunch of this stuff, this thinking putty. It's, it smells like uh, scented. Mmm. Hey, that one smells like smells like bubble gum. Oh, I like that. I might keep that. Oh. Hey. Well, here's the box. And here he is. Aladdin. Oh, that's so cute. Well, this is off, but you know what? That is such an easy fix. Put a little E6000 on there or some double-sided tape. And it works fine. Oh, hey, that's cool. Look at that. Tear-off activity placemat. That's awesome. This is why I need another little kid around here, just so that I have an excuse to still play with stuff like that. It's an old calendar. Cute cat pictures, though. 
Oh, here's another thing. It, look, it's just off here. Pull down. Oh, look. It's a road. Look at all these little cars. That's cute. Anything else? One more. Hey. Uh, I say, I say we did awesome. We didn't lose hope. And hey, we found some great stuff. Guys, thank you for coming back. Peace. I'll see you next time.